I know. Because I, I might get the I might get the thing. I know he's recording right now, but uh, it's uh, if you want, we'll let you. Anyway, hello, lad. Let me let me record. This is gonna be the blue. No, okay. Let's be wrong. La 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 la. Red leather, yellow leather, red oh. yellow. Oh. Mate, that Guinness last night was dangerous anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here on day four at Pack Print here in the Melbourne Convention Centre. Convention Center. This is actually the Exhibition Centre. Convention Centre's next door. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's why I couldn't find an Uber. <laughs> I've got the scooters. They're really good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the, uh, 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 what is it? Exhibition Centre. Exhibition Centre. Center with the one and only, the application specialist, the man of the moment, and also a very, very good speaker, the one and only, Mr. Jeremy Brew. Hello, Jeremy. How are you going? G'day, Yanni. Mate, I'm very well, thank you. See how very well he's spoken, ladies and gentlemen. With and no voice. With no voice. And he always tells me, hey, you, you need to slow things down. And so, mate, uh, last night was good. It was good. It was good. Dinner was nice. The red wine was nice. That Guinness, not so nice. Not so much. Yeah, I felt like I ate my dinner twice. Well, well, I think you filled one leg up at least with the amount of, so your, your, your two compared to my one, and Bernie was next. He, he couldn't handle it. Yeah, couldn't right. handle that, Bernie. But anyway, mate. I appreciate the way you look after him. Well, you know, as part of the funding, we get, I, th I hope Peter filled out that form last night, which we got it before oh, end of yeah, financial year. June 30. End of financial year. Of course. Unbelievable. Anyway, we're here with uh, Jeremy. Jeremy, how's it? Um, it's good, obviously, to have everyone back, uh, you know, at the expo and that. Uh, have you caught up with a lot of uh, existing customers, a lot of potential customers? What's the vibe been about? Obviously, we're a big fans of the, of the R series and our 700W. Have you found everyone's uh, reaction to everything going on with HP? Man, uh, it, it feels like coming home, actually coming back to a trade yeah, show yeah. because it's three years at least since the last trade show. Oh, yeah. And Friends. this industry is such a friendly industry. Yep. You know the same the same suspects amongst exhibitors, competitors, customers. Yeah, uh, we're all pretty good friends. So for me, it's yeah. felt a bit like coming home. Yeah. But what I really love about trade shows is, you know, as a customer, you yep. can come and see everything in one spot. Ex exactly. And as great as virtual demos are. Yep. As great as it is to be able to research products online. Yep. You can't replicate that experience. Face to face experience. Face to face yep. experience yep. of looking someone in the yep. eye. Yeah, and asking them the tough questions, yep. but also seeing all the technology in one's place. And the other thing I love about trade shows is those little serendipitous discoveries. When you're walking down an aisle and you discover something you didn't know you needed. Exactly. Until you see it and it solves a problem. Well, and, and I think one of the, I think the, the problems that we found is when, you know, we're getting into this game and we're researching more. And a lot more, I think, people don't understand with HP is our, your sustainability footprint mm. and what you guys are about to do sustainability. So in, in terms of those people that, yeah, we're talking that don't really know about much about, let's not worry about latex technology yet, yeah, but your sustainable impact, especially on our, on our seven, uh, 700W, mm -hmm. the cartridges. Explain to me again what – some people don't realise that we can just throw them away, can't we? And there's no... You can. So, first of all, every single printer yep. on the stand is water-based inks, yep. so, which is unique if you walk around the show. Yep. There, I don't think there's anyone else that can make a claim like that. So yep. whether it be our photographic printers, our yep. poster printers, our durable graphic printers, and yep. our direct-to-substrate printers, yep. everything using water-based ink. Yep. So it means you don't have any of those nasty chemicals you might discover in other... In no other smells inks. especially. No smells, yep. odorless inks, yep. absolutely. So, you know, we tick that part of the puzzle. But yep. you're right, this the printing industry occasionally gets accused of being fairly wasteful. Yep. And we even looked at our print cartridges. Yeah. And we've gone to our new eco cartons yep. where it's a cardboard box. Yep. Inside there is one bladder with one spigot connector. That's it. When the cartridge is exhausted yep. and it's pulled all the ink out. Simply pop it open, cardboard in your recycling. Yep. The bladder and the spigot goes in our Planet Partners bin. And when that is full, contact Planet Partners. They come and collect. They'll pick it up. They'll yep. recycle that. No landfill. So you, you we're literally having zero impact to our environment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's always going to be some impact of everything oh, yeah, that yeah, we yeah. do. Like with but, Ernie, we have the, 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 ju <laughs> <laughs> the journey is to minimise it as much as possible. Yeah. So if we can remove a lot of those chemicals out of the process. Yep. We can remove as much waste that goes into landfill. Yep. Uh, and in fact, we wanted to make a, a real commitment around this show. Yep. Uh, you know, we hear about being 
carbon neutral. Yes. We were, we wanted to go one better. So in fact, we calculated the total carbon footprint of our participation in pack print. Yep. Even including materials, flights, printers, yep. couriers, the whole lot. Oh right. And yeah. then we purchased uh, carbon offsets to double that value to make our stand climate positive. And that's uh, the project that we've committed to there yep. is a biodiversity project in Western Australia. So, so we're like, keeping right, it in local yep. in Australia yep. and uh, yeah, not just offsetting, yep. but in fact, double. Well, there you so. go. So, and one thing that we'll come back to sustainability, I said, we have been a massive fan and recently we, we, uh, we've been doing some uh, projects and one that we partnered with HP mm -hmm. with our, our special, uh, our, our gift basket yep. and everything was on sustainable products. So even the vinyl, because the vinyl was a PVC free vinyl. Now, what, what do they mean by PVC free? So we, like we say, Bernie and I, like we do, we, we know what the machines we could do, but we still don't understand what the materials, mm -hmm. especially when they talk about, like we know on our, on the, our reboards or Enviro boards and Eater boards, like, you know, certain things we yep. know on our uh, B flutes and E flutes, but what do they mean when the PVC free? Mm -hmm. So what's that yeah. about? So we find a lot of customers are trending away from PVC substrates yep. because, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a chemical engineer, yep. because I understand um, PVC uh, may not be the greenest solution in how you manufacture it and yep. also dispose of it. Yep. So we see a lot of material suppliers now creating PVC-free materials yep. to, again, take at least that part out of the process. Yep. Yep. Uh, and, in fact, there's two PVC-free films that we're running on the printers at the show. Okay, yep. So on our print and cut, we've got yep. a new intermediate PVC-free film from 3M. Yep. And on the Latex 800, we're running a PVC-free cast film as well yeah so in fact you could do a car wrap yeah right without using any pvc in that process yeah right and i think a lot of people also then coming back to that is and i always come back to the r series so i'm a massive fan of the r series so and obviously both besides doing rigid we've also got obviously the roll to roll option <laughs> and i think the key that i love about the r series is the whites really how spectacular is your white series and even things like it's running at obviously there's there's different degrees we've got the the hundred like the the 100 percent and the ones the ones the 160 yeah was there a 60 uh, was there a 60 percent there no, it's that's a 60 what, and a 260 yeah, as well that's right yeah. so and so, I, yeah sorry you know yeah no, you're right so we we give you the ability to choose the density yep. based on the project you want to print yep yeah so we have customers where they want a really subtle amount of white yep just enough to create the image or to help make the color pop yep and you'll run a low level like a 60 percent white and then we go right through to 260 percent yep it's like putting computer cut vinyl down uh, you know yeah, it's that's, uh, that's right yeah, yeah. It's, yep. it's, it's like hitting it with a white outdoor paint yeah this serious amount of whiting yep. in there yep. um but you choose the density based on the project that yep. you the project you're producing and the yep. effect your customer wants and that's you know what i really like about these printers yep. is that you know we say just Whatever request the customer gives you, yeah. say yes. Yes. The printer will do it. Yeah, and, and it will. Then, and then you can call me and ask, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and I can gladly vouch for that because numerous <laughs> times we've printed on tiles, we've printed on acoustic panels, yes. uh, timber, glass splashbacks, mm -hmm. uh, acrylics, mirrored acrylics, which I, I know not coming from a printing background where UV couldn't print on the, obviously the reflection of that and the latex just ate it all up. And every time I drew these special Instagram or little videos, I get a phone, I see Jeremy Ringer there, oh shit, what have I done now? But the fact that you can throw anything at the R series is just mind blowing, especially coming back to the box that we did with AHP, yep. is the flexibility in the inks. But I think a lot of people don't realize is we, the outside box of the basket was actually creased on the ink. So where most people would actually you know, uh, crease from there, and we we know we no 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 breaks. Yeah, no cracking. That's right. Because yeah. the ink's super flexible. Yeah. The same ink we use in these printers. Yep. We could do a car wrap. We can do thermoforming. Yep. You know, cardboard packaging. Yep. You know, yeah, you don't need to worry about, should say, the ink cracking because it's highly flexible. Yep. Yeah. And it's a really thin layer of ink. Yeah. That makes yep. a big difference. In fact, even cutting on a cutting table, we often see inks chip on some machines yep. around the edges when they cut. Yep. And I know you've even laser cut through the latex inks and it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn, no, perfectly. nothing at all. Exactly. And I think we'll just come into that before we go is this example here, mm. and I'll probably get a little bit closer to the, so JB, this is a, what, a three mil acrylic. Yep. 
Yeah. Customer, actually, customer came the other day to see how's the flexibility because he went down to the acrylic bending machine. Yeah, and put this on a line bender. Yeah, so that yeah. was here at the show. So it wasn't anything we've done. So, and look at that. That is like, there's no cracks, there's no nothing, the flexibility in it. No, no cracks, no defects. Uh, and we have thermoforming customers that yep. run these for both um, vacuum form yep. as well as line bending. You know, they ink super flexible. In fact, we have a particular print mode for a really deep drawer thermoform yep. that has up to a thousand percent stretch. Now, all the applications you've talked about, we do off one ink set. Yep. And that's, typically, that's if you wanted to have a flexible UV ink, yep. you need to make other trade offs. So, Correct. with some flatbeds, if you want to do thermoforming, yep. you buy a specific thermoforming ink yep. that then reduces the scope of applications. Yep. Everything you see on the stand produced with the R series, with one ink set. So, obviously, one machine can cover everything, less uh, less uh, machine outlay of, you know, having multiple different things from one application, yeah. not only doing rigid, but also doing roll to roll. So well, this is actually the printer we actually did that big cardboard cut out of Bernie. Yeah. And I'm really, really surprised. It still burns into my retina. Look, look, it does, but you know, it's not as good as that one you've had with that bloke up there. Geez, that, he looks familiar. He's a, <laughs> he's a good looking bloke, that, that, that guy with the, I think we've got the same shirts. Yeah, absolutely. But mum, yes. well, he is a cousin and mum said, can you bring that home? Cause I want to put that up. Anyway, Jeremy Brumo, always a pleasure. Always we, a pleasure. We, we love uh, the support you've g uh, given us, plus other R users, not just R users, now with the new uh, 800 and 700W yep. with the wipe. Anyone that hasn't thought about uh, latex technology or unsure, reach out to the guys at HP Australia, and they'll obviously partner part you with their, their wonderful channel partners. Uh, learn about it. Don't just write it off until you actually see what the results can do. We're pleased with it. Glad we did it. And we're also glad we got our, uh, Mr. Jeremy Brood. Of course, Kevin Gregory. Uh, but he's too far in Queensland. He, he, it's, it's and not they're a, a little bit unusual out there. They, they are, especially that James Gleason. But I'll speak very highly of James. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks. Uh, last day here, Pack Print uh, 2022. Uh, I'm going to get some water because I had too much Guinness last night and I'm out. Thanks, Yanni. Thanks.